Okay, let's solve another problem. This time the question is, what's the puck? <laughs> a puck A has some initial velocity of positive three meters per second along the x-axis. It then collides with puck B, which is initially at rest. After the collision, the two pucks fly apart. Puck A is deflect deflected at an angle theta A is equals 50 degrees above the positive x-axis, and puck B got deflected at theta B equals 20 degrees below the positive x-axis. If the two pucks have the same mass M, what is the magnitude of the velocity of puck A right after the collision? Let's say, so get the insurance. Yeah, so, um, so you have two pucks. Puck A is again initially at rest. Puck B is, I'm uh, sorry, Puck A is moving with some velocity three meters per second. Then it is it collides with Puck B initially at rest, and the two pucks so again, yeah, they, uh, fly apart. Sila, and the two pucks fly apart. Puck A is now 50 degrees with respect to the horizontal, and Puck B is now minus 20 degrees with respect to the horizontal. The question now is what are the velocities, um, of, uh, what are the final velocities of the two pucks after the collision? Pero we're, spe uh, well, no, no. we're specifically determining the velocity of puck A after the collision. So yun yung hinahanap natin. Okay, um, I'll, let's um, have uh, maybe a minute to, to understand what's going on and then after that, I'll show you the solution. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's assume recording. Let's have uh, let's solve this problem. So, uh, oh man. okay. Dun sa nag DPM, tama sa gutma. Ang galing ah, nice. Okay, pag eh has an initial velocity. So let's say um, ang gawin na lang natin para madale. Sulat mo na natin given. So m e equals m b equals m. Di given yung mass. So, ang alam lang natin identical yung masses nila. Now for the velocities, it's easier to and dal ang dami daming velocities sa pinag sabi dito. Mas maganda mag drawing muna tayo ng table para mapakita natin kung ano yung nangyayari. So let's draw a table. So what, uh, what I'll do is I'll draw a table. Um, pwede nyo gawin to kapag halimbawa medyo lost kayo. So um, ayan. Tapos drawing ako yung isang table dito. Tapos drawing ako ng isang table dito. So these two so these first two columns here represent puck A, and these final two columns here, row pala to, the end column, um, represent puck B. Okay, and this first element here is your initial velocity, and this is the final components of the velocity. Now, okay, say say natin. What is the initial velocity of puck A in the x direction? Ano yan? Ano yan? Positive three. It's positive 3 meters per second. So this is plus 3.00 meters per second. No here, kaya hindi ko na in-sketch yung ano. Kasi meron naman ang sketch, di ba? Andiyan na yung sketch eh. Hindi natin kailangan i-doom yan. Now, what is the initial velocity of puck A in the y direction on the other hand? So what is B A Y? Ano yan? Zero. Zero because Zero. it is not moving with respect to the positive y. So kasi kung mag-drawing ka ng coordinates dyan and the positive x to positive y yan, wala ka namang component ng m a na nasa y direction. So this is just zero. Now, what about the velocity of puck b with respect to x? Zero. Zero because both the x components and the x and y components are zero because the puck, puck b is initially at rest. Therefore, zero lang yan. Okay, what about the final velocities? Now, okay, let's say that VA prime and VB prime are the final mag final speeds of the two pucks. So, so what is the final velocity um, of puck A in the X direction, VAX prime? Again, I'm using prime coordinates for the final velocity. So, ano yan? Ano ngayon yan? Sir. Let us say well, that... Yeah. Hindi natin alam, pero pwede natin isulat. Di ba? Pwede natin isulat. So let's say VA prime. Let VA prime be the final speed of A and VB prime is the final speed of, of B. Okay? I know, we know the angles. Theta A and theta B. Theta A is also given. So this is 50 degrees. Theta B is 20 degrees. Okay? So VA X prime is therefore equal to what? I can write this as VA prime cosine 50. Cosine of theta A muna. May ako nilagay yung angles. So, yes. Cosine of theta A. Okay lang naman na 50 degrees again. Yeah. Some students will write that way. Okay lang naman yun. Um, on the other hand, what is the final velocity VB, I'm uh, sorry, VA in the Y component? VA Y prime. Ano yan? Ano yan? V Sir, VA prime cosine theta B. V, VA prime cosine of 
theta b, tama. So what about the final velocity in the what, x component of um of of pop b, v b x prime? Ano yan na? So v b prime cosine theta a. This is v b prime cosine of theta a. So um, sorry, sorry. I said cosine joke lang. Cosine, tama. Pero theta a, theta. Um, this shouldn't be theta b. This should be theta a. Sorry for that. This should be theta b. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Ako rin nalito eh. Now, instead of 20 degrees, it should be minus 20 degrees actually. Pero, ayun, okay na yan 20 degrees. Original, meron kang dalawang way na pwedeng gawin dito eh. Pwedeng theta b equals negative 20, tapos ilabas mo ngayon yung negative sign. Or, just write it as 20 degrees, tapos ilagay mo agad yung negatives dun sa labas. So, like for example dito. Kasi, importante yan sa VBY prime. Ano kasi yan? Ang gagawin ko, yung 20 degrees, ilagay ko lang siya as is 20 degrees. But it is measured from the positive x that's counter, sorry, clockwise siya. Therefore, negative dapat yan. So, dapat meron akong minus VB prime sine of theta b. Kaya may negative sign sa labas. So, Okay, because there, our theta now is by default positive. Okay, pwede ko kasing ilagay sa loob, ilagay ko na theta b ay negative, pwede naman yun. Pero mamaya, sa substitution ko ng numbers, dapat negative 20 degrees yung ginagawa ko. Para hindi ako malito, tinanggal ko na yung pagka-negative dun sa angle, yung labas ko siya dun sa expression. Okay? Questions? Malinaw yun? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, now, Okay, meron na tayong table of values. So, uh, sorry, table of values. Sorry. Meron na tayong table containing all the velocities. Now, use, using conservation of momentum. We have this. MA, VAX, plus MB, um, VBX. Ah, ang pangat ang biko. Equals MA, VAX prime, plus MB, VBX prime and also MA VAY um VAY I'm sorry um tama tama nga MA VAY plus MB VBY equals MA VAY prime plus MB VBY prime now we substitute all the all the necessary numbers here so we know that this is um um instead of writing VAX I'll just write this as VA and then we know that this is zero, this is zero, and this is also zero. And then from that, I can um, just write, simplify this as something like an M. Um, remember, M A and M B is equal to some M. So this is just M V A equals M A. I'm oh, sorry, M V A prime cosine um, theta E plus M V B prime um, cosine theta B. Tama? So this is equation one. And there, and also m. Uh, now these two equations, so the left hand side is zero, is just equal to m m v a prime sine theta a minus m v b prime sine of theta b. This is equation two. Ngayon, the masses are given. Actually, they can just cancel it. Cancel yung dalawa tayong masses na yan. Um, v a prime and v b prime are unknown. The angles are known. And note here, ang unknowns lang natin dalawa, meron tayong dalawang equations. Therefore, we can solve this uniquely. And note, hindi natin alam kung elastic, inelastic to, or inelastic tong collision na to, kung, kung ano mang collision to. Ang alam lang natin, may conservation of momentum tayo. Um, we will see later that this is not an elastic collision. This is actually a partially inelastic collision. You'll see why later. Uh, spoiler alert, hindi yan ano, partially inelastic yan. <laughs> okay. Pero hindi nagpa-matter yun kasi unique yung magiging solution natin kasi may dalawa na tayong equations. Okay? So, therefore, um, sub, so, so what we want is the final velocity of A. So, what we want is it's VA prime. Thus, eliminate VB prime. Okay? So, to eliminate VB prime, isolate VB prime in equation two. And by doing so, we get VB prime is simply equal to what? This is VA prime sine theta A over sine theta B. Tama? Tama? Yes, sir. Tama. Okay. Now, we substitute equation three to equation one, giving us an a VA equals VA prime 
cosine of theta a plus vb prime is now equal to va prime sine theta a over sine theta b multiplied by cosine theta b. Tama? Tama? So this is equation yes. four. And then um, I can factor out all my VA prime, and then I simplify this one and this one, because the cosine over sine is just, just cotangent. And therefore, I get a VA prime quantity cosine of theta A plus sine of theta A cotangent of theta B. So hence, thus, we see that VA, is VA prime, or the final velocity of the of Pac A after the collision is simply VA all over cosine theta A plus sine theta A cotangent theta B. And when you plug in the numbers, ang lalabas ay, ito ay about equal sa 1.09 meters per second. This is the final answer that we want. Okay? Nakuha? Nakuha? Yes, sir. I hope this is clear. Okay? Malinaw, ganito mag-solve ng 2D collision problems. So, you, um, the easier way, at least for me, is to make a table of the values para hindi ako malito, and then plug in these values in the conservation of, of momentum relations and then solve for a system of equations. A usual system yan. Okay? Questions? Questions? Wala? Walang tanong? None. Ah, oh, there's a question here in the direct message. Okay lang po ba if diretso na po input sa calculator instead of substituting? Um, wala namang issue doon. <laughs> wala namang issue doon. Pwede kayong mag-start mag-end dito sa equation na to. Um, dito sa dito sa relationship na to. Pwede mo i-plug ito sa calculator kung kaya ng calculator niya. Pero gusto ko yung ipakita kasi yung proof niya. Um, in a more analytic sense. So, tsaka wala rin akong solver. <laughs> Yun talaga yung reason. Okay, other questions. I hope you answer, I answered your question, ha? Nasagot ko ba? Okay. Sige. Okay. Now, 